Hey gang, so it's a beautiful day today and I'm out here sitting on my deck because next week I'm going on a little camping trip to a local state park and I need to start thinking about, well, packing again. And also taking a look at all of these dry bags that I have and seeing if my equipment is going to work because I'm going to change it up a little bit this time. And what I'm going to do today is also check out a new bag here. I've got this, the ultimate adventure bag from a company called Unplug. Uh, they're over in Australia, so I think being over there in the outback, they should know what makes a good dry bag. So we're going to check that out and compare it to some of the other stuff I've been using over the years. So as I said, over the years, I've used a number of different bags. One of the first dry bags that I got was this. This is uh, the D38 from Dry Spec, and it's been a great bag over the years. It's getting a little frayed in a few spots, but again, it's been great for me. Used to go on the back of my Victory Vision up as a trunk bag. Another bag that I've tried is this one from Gonex. You can get them on Amazon. They're a less expensive bag. And while I don't necessarily trust this to go on the back of a motorcycle during a heavy rainstorm, we do use this when we do uh, some truck trips. But over the past few years, my main dry bag has been this. This is the 600, the dry bag 600 from SW Motec. And I got this because I wanted to find a bag that was big enough to carry all of my camping equipment in. At least everything I needed to set up camp, you know, my tent, sleeping bag, sleeping pad, those kinds of things. And this bag has uh, been able to do the trick. Uh, it's been a great bag, but again, we're gonna take a look at this one and compare it to the features of that new unplugged bag. The first thing you should notice about these two bags is there's a little bit of a size difference. The Dry Bag 600 from SW Motec measures 28 by 13 by 13 for a total of 77 liters of space. Now they list it as a 60 liter bag, but again, according to the measurements, it's 77. On the other hand, the bag from Unplugged, well, that measures 29 by 16 by 15, and that gives you 114 liters of space. The second thing that you should notice is the material that these bags are made out of. The Unplugged bag uses a 1650D Cordura, a really tough bag here. On the other hand, the SW Motec, again, while pretty tough, uses a 500D or 500 denier uh, material. I know that you can't feel it here, but just by looking at these two bags and feeling it, you can really feel the difference in the thickness of that material. The material in this unplugged bag, well, it's about three times as heavy as that in the SW Motec bag. Another thing you'll notice that this new unplug bag, well, it has all these tie down points, these like mole tie downs all along both sides of it. So you can tie it down in, well, just about an infinite number of ways. It also has handles on both ends. Again, that can be used for tie down points. And then another cool feature is that this bag comes with backpack straps. So if you had to walk a ways to get to your campsite, well, you could throw this thing over your shoulder using these straps. Now for we motorcycle riders, well, these things may not be too useful because we'll just ride usually up to our campsite. So these things are easily removable. Both of these bags use frequency welding for all of their seams, right, so that they remain nice and watertight. All the stitching that you see here on the unplugged bag, well, that is only goes into this gray portion that is itself welded to the body of the bag. So there's no stitching that goes through to let any water through. Now, one thing to be aware of when comparing these two bags is that the SW Motec bag was purposely built for motorcyclists. It comes with these tie down loops, right? They can loop around the frame or the rack of your bike, and then this just clips right into the bag itself with that uh, tension buckle or cam buckle and pulls down tight. So it makes it really easy to tie things down. 
The unplugged bag, on the other hand, was built for a wide variety of uses. Car camping, taking it on your kayak, throwing it on your motorcycle, throwing it on the top of your car or on top of your truck, all kinds of things. It was made to be tough to handle all those different uses. So you are going to have to get something to tie this down to your specific vehicle, right? In our case, motorcycle. And for me, when I need to tie something down, well, I use rock straps. I, again, that same loop system. You can tie that off to your frame, and then you have another end that clips in with that cam buckle to tension it tight. And those tie-down straps on the bag, well, they're purposefully made so that those cam buckles slide easily right through them. Now there is a small difference in price between these bags as well. The SW Motec bag runs about $150. The unplugged bag, well, it runs about $175. Now personally for me, $25 is not that big of a difference. So if I can get those extra features, more durability, and a slightly larger bag, well, again, $25, that seems worth the price. So features and cost aside, the important thing is, can I get the gear I want to take with me into this bag? And I said at the beginning of this, I was going to change things up a little bit. And that is, all of you know if you've been watching my channel, I carry a pretty good sized mat in there. This is the XPED Mega Mat 10. Fantastic mat. But it does take up quite a bit of room. It's 31 inches long. So we got to get that in this bag. Right, and that goes in quite easily. Much easier than it did in the SW Motec bag. And also, I want to carry a bigger tent. I, last time I went camping, I had my smaller tent, and while it works fine, it's great, you know, you're crawling in and out of it all of the time. And I thought to myself, hell, I have a bigger tent. I have a tent that I can stand up in. Yeah, it's a hell of a lot bigger and it's heavier, but if I can get it into this bag, why not take it? And both of those fit in there really easily, I have to say, and I have a little bit extra room left over. I'm not sure I can get my sleeping bag in here with it, uh, but I can get some other things. Hang on. So here's some other things that I want to carry, right? My blow-up pillow. There's a corner for it right down here. And also my camp chair. Again, that very easily can fit in there as well. Just kind of squish it down. And I also carry this hatchet. I use it for chopping wood, but also mainly for pounding steaks. So I'm gonna stick that in there as well. And as I said, I still have some room for some other small things as well. Um, I have a, a little electric fan, a battery powered fan that I can stick in there. I've got my pump that I use for the air mattress. I can put that in there. So again, I, I've got quite a bit of room left in here. So let's see what happens when I uh, bundle it all up. So. All right, first of all, what I'm going to do is get the air out of here. All right. I'm going to roll over the corner. There we go, got that cinch down. Now this also has, of course, center cinches as well. One on each side. So there you go. 
I can carry everything I need in here again set my sleeping bag and uh, We'll figure out what to do with it It might go in one of my panniers or maybe even up on top of this bag. So we'll see but I think that is going to allow me to carry that big tent and my big ass sleeping pad uh, Which is mainly what I'm looking for and one of the things that I really like about this uh, This bag system is that uh, their, their motto and the motto is basically I love camping But not the work and that's kind of the way that I feel about camping I love it. I love being out in the woods and so forth, but I want to make it as simple as I can and as comfortable as I can for me. That way I'll keep doing it. If I'm not comfortable and it's not easy, well, then I'm going to go to a hotel. So this bag, I think, uh, is going to work really well. Wait a minute. Before I go, I thought I should give it one more good test. This is supposed to be a waterproof bag, so, uh, Let's make sure it is. So while that bag is in there getting good and soaked, go ahead and check out the Unplugged website at needtounplug.com and you can take a look at the bags and you can purchase them there. There'll also be a link in the description of this video where you can go out and buy those bags as well. And I'll have a complete write out out of my website in my gear section as well. So we'll let this soak for about five or 10 minutes and see how it does. All right, so the bag's pretty darn wet now. It's soaked, I'm soaked, <laughs> and there's water all over the house. So my wife's mad at me. <laughs> Not really, I cleaned it up already. So let's dry the outside of the bag off and see what's inside. All right, let's open it up and uh, see how things are. I said, of course, the outside is all wet. We were expecting that. Dry. And all dry. All right, so anyway, everything's nice and dry in here. So uh, the bag did it was supposed to do. So fantastic. All right, so like I said, there'll be a link in the description of this video. You can go out and purchase this bag. You can also find a write up out on my website in my gear section. Um, or you can go to the website at needtounplug.com and check them out right there. So, great bag. I think it's going to work out well for me. Looking forward to using it. Okay, I'll let you know how it works out in the camping. All right, guys. Have a good one. Ride safe out there.